I know you. We talked before. My head's clearer now, Sith. It's all here. The comlink, my lightsaber, everything I hid. You're going through with it. With all this, I... Once the guards chain shifts, I think I can slip out of the academy. But what about you? Will you be okay? Don't worry about me. If you're certain, I still don't understand why you're doing this. But I thank you. If everything's settled, I'll be leaving. As you say, Seth. Thank you again. I'm... I'm sorry the Empire took you in instead of the Jedi. If things had been different, maybe you could have been part of the Order. The Jedi is preparing his escape. You did well. Not perfectly, but I have confidence the operation will succeed. Our business is concluded. I will make note of your assistance in my report. My duty is my life. As it should be. Take these tokens as payment for your service, and know that no Jedi can threaten Korriban. Now go. Ah, approach. I've heard rumors of your exploits in the tombs. You follow in the footsteps of failed apprentices. Ones sent to slay renegades and crack the shells of armored droids. You fared better. That's it exactly. The mining droids not only protected the slaves who subverted their program, but threatened to damage the tombs of the ancients. That would have been unforgivable. And for succeeding where others died, you will be rewarded. Yes. Yes, remarkable. Magnificent. You. You slave. What? No. Acolyte. You're the one who brought me this magnificent holocron from the tomb of Marco Ragnos, yes? Yes, my lord. I found the holocron. Unbelievable. One thousand years buried in that tomb. The Sith lords passing it by. And then the most unlikely person comes along. Tell me, how did you manage it? I shot lightning at it and it opened. Such a simple solution. Why did none of us think of that? We must have thought too deeply on it, believed too strongly that it could not be done. Or perhaps we were simply not meant to open it. Your work so far? In bringing back this holocron, and now the text from Tulak Horde's tomb, has me intrigued. I am watching your progress eagerly. I have high hopes for you, Acolyte. Sky high. I hope I live up to them. Good luck, Acolyte. Good luck. Just about to send Fawn off. What delayed you, slave? Well, First Lord Zash stopped me to tell me how amazing I am. And then we got talking, and I suppose I lost track of time. Just like a slave to make up stories. Lord Zash would crush you like a gizka if you ever crossed her path. You're not worthy of her presence. Now, did you collect the text from Tulak Horde's tomb? Of course, Overseer. It is an honor to serve. Give it here. No doubt it's been badly damaged. It's what we get for sending a careless lowlife to do a Sith job. Isn't that right, Fawn? What are we waiting for, Overseer? Why don't we kill this wretch now? You have a big mouth, slave, but no combat skills. I don't want to see you again until you've satisfied the Korriban instructors. The training facility is on the second floor of the Academy and is usually reserved for the Dark Lords and their apprentices. This is not a promotion, and you are not to speak to anyone except the training master when you are up there, understand? You are not fit for their presence. I understand. I will be careful not to step out of place. You are just as likely to chop your own arm off as not, slave. Now get going to the second floor training grounds. You don't want to keep the instructors waiting. So, yet another acolyte stands in the shadow of our academy. You must consider yourself privileged. Tell me, you who would be Sith, have you seen much of our civilization so far? Have you been awed by this world's power and glory? Indeed, I have. 
Korriban is most inspiring, my lord. You find it so? Then you should understand something. Korriban was wrought by the true-blooded Sith millennia ago. Our ancestors, a crimson race of conquerors, raised the statues around us. Over the eons, however, our people mingled with slaves. Now the red markings of true Sith are rare, and the purity of this planet is in question. I hope you plan to elaborate. True purity and strength are carried in the blood. I worry that our blood is being diluted over generations. In the Emperor's name, I have come to learn whether the Academy's overseers are Sith or not. You will be my instrument. It would be an honor. It is a glorious opportunity. I possess an ancient device, a holocron, that can read and record bloodlines. It will pulse with life near the Overseers. Allow the holocron to fulfill its purpose. Stand near the Overseers as it attunes to their blood purity. Then return here, and I will learn the truth. Hello there, friend. You remember my brother and me from downstairs? With Harkon, right? Sorry it had to be this way. We don't like it any more than you do. Well, maybe a little more. What's happening here? I'm sorry, man. I liked you. I really did. But Harker made us a deal, see? We kill you, we go home. You will regret that. We don't want to. But we know we can't beat Fon, and we'll never be Sith. At least this way we can go home, alive. Quiet, Balak. The time for talk is past. Fight for your life, Acolyte. Oh well. Look who shows up at long last. I half expected to hear you'd crossed some Dark Lord upstairs and finally got yourself killed. None of the others have shown up either. I assume they're dead by now, which means you and Fon are the last ones. So, what now? Your final trial will be to retrieve an ancient map from the innermost chamber of Naga Sado's tomb, which has never been breached in thousands of years. But before you get the map, you'll have to awaken an ancient assassin called Dashard that sleeps in the tomb. You cannot access the map without him. Understand? What exactly is a Dashard? They're a lost race of assassins that the ancient Sith used to devour their force-using enemies. This one will probably eat you the moment he's freed. Oh, and one more thing. You'll be competing with Fon for this map. Whoever brings it back will be Lord Zash's apprentice. The other will die. And Fon's already started, so my advice? Run, slave. Run. Ahem. <clears throat> one moment, please. Lord Zash! What are you doing here? Overseer? Are you implying that I, a Lord of the Sith, don't have the right to go where I please within the Academy of the Sith? No, of course not, Lord Zash. Good. I saw the last Acolyte arrive. I wanted to see the hopefuls off on their final trial. Where's, um, what's his, the red one, Fawn? He finished his trial early, so I sent him on rather than keeping him waiting for this... Pity. I just finished translating the wonderful text this acolyte brought from Tulak Hord's tomb, and it's most illuminating. I don't know that the map can be retrieved without it. What makes you say that? It's too late. Fawn's already left. You can't just... W give one acolyte an unfair advantage over the other? Overseer, when has being Sith ever been about being fair? Now, my dear acolyte, here is what you must do to free the Dishard. There are rods scattered throughout the tomb of Nagasado. These rods are the keys to the chamber where the ancient assassin is imprisoned. You will need to place the rods in the chamber door and electrify them. I don't know exactly the reason, but it is clear that you will not be able to retrieve the map without the Dashard. But be careful, he is very dangerous. Is there anything else I should know about the Dashard? It's a force-resistant assassin. I have reason to believe this one was placed in the tomb by Tulak Horde himself. I will return when both acolytes are back from the tomb. You will not do anything further to affect the outcome of the trial. Understood? Yes, Lord Zash. Good. And good luck, acolyte. <laughs>